Good morning, friends. Miss Heather here. Okay, let's start off our group time with our good morning song. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. I'm glad you're watching today. Okay, now before we get into our story, let's see if you can remember our church words. Here at Unitarian Church, we are people of open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. Great job! This week, I have a fun story called Little Miss Spider, and it is by David Kirk. Ooh. There's lots of beautiful, bright colors in this story. Little Miss Spider, Sunny Patch School. Little Miss Spider got ready for school. She packed her new notebook, her pencils and ruler. There's her notebook. Oh, and she's even got a cherry, a ruler, and her pencils. And we have school starting here in one month. Who's so excited to go back to school and see their friends? Oh, I bet you're all so excited. <gasps> Peering outside, she skipped tea from her cup and eagerly watched for the sun to come up. She's so exciting. She's waiting for the sun to come up so she can go to school. She dreamt as she gazed, her mind running through the wonderful things she would learn how to do. Oh, look at those cute little spider friends. And there she's thinking of all the things. Look, it looks like she's jumping rope and reading a book. Oh, doing some science experiments, writing on the board. We have, oh, there's some arts and crafts, playing with blocks, all type of fun stuff you do in school. Sunny Patch School was the best place to go to study the lessons all bugs ought to know. Here's our little spider friends reading a book. There were classes in climbing and clinging to walls for hiding in bushes and curling in balls. They're learning how to use their webs and climb and hold on. And there's some, oh, are those roly polies? Oh, cool. She would learn about flowers from petal to root, how to chew tasty leaves and tunnel through fruit. Oh, and look, see they're tunneling through all the fruit. That looks like a big, nice, juicy pear that they're looking how to tunnel their way through. She gobbled her breakfast, a fresh flower plate, then ran to the hallway to be the first at the gate. There's little mama and her baby spider. She's so ready to get ready to go to school. So exciting to see a snail and a bumblebee and a spider and an ant and a grasshopper and a mosquito back there. They're all ready to go to school. The principal smiled as she pulled back the latch. I know you'll be happy at dear Sunny Patch. And here they are. Oh, look, all running on the trail. And there's the teacher. I think the teacher is praying mantis. Yeah. But she found she lacked talent for hiding in trees, for chirping like crickets or humming like a bee. Hmm. I wonder why she can't jump like a cricket or chirp like a cricket and jump. Maybe it's because she's a spider. 
spider and she'll have her own special spider skills. She hadn't the strength to drill leaves with her tongue and hardly the stomach for digging in Doug. Look, those ones know how, but she's different animal, the different insect, so she has different skills. <clears throat> I am useless at stinging, she said with a sigh. Perhaps I'll be better at learning to fly. See, the bumblebees, they know how to sting because they have stingers. But because she's a spider, she don't have a stinger. Oh, and it looks like right here she tied feathers to her back to try to fly. Each student was tossed from a leaf to a rose. Poor little Miss Spider fell flat on her nose. Uh-oh. I don't think the feathers helped her fly. Poor little Miss Spider. Let's see what she's good at, though. I bet she has her own special skills. The school day was over. They sounded the bell. She sobbed. Is there anything I can do well? There's a school bell ringing. But she looks a little sad. <gasps> then she heard a bug cry, I'm stuck in a spout. So she climbed to the top and she hoisted him out. Look, there she is at the bottom. And... <gasps> Oh, she was able to climb and use her spider web to get him out. The principal beamed as he waved from afar. He lifted Miss Spider and gave her a star. Oh, and there's her star. And look at everyone seems so happy. And now she looks happy too. Our gifts, they are many. We hope, we hop, fly, and crawl. But kindness, he said, is the finest of all. And there he is giving her a hug. Being kind to one another is really, really nice to your friends. And just because the little Miss Spider couldn't fly or chirp like a cricket or dig through the leaves, she had her own special skills. And each, each and every one of you have your own special skills too. Now what this book makes me think of is going outside on a scavenger hunt maybe and looking for insects. And I wonder how many insects can you find? Me and my son like to catch fireflies at night or he likes to find roly polies and see how many ants he can find. Or sometimes we've even seen daddy long legs and he, he, we can hear grasshoppers, but we don't see them too often. So I wonder, how many insects can you find? There's a lot out now that it's summertime. Well, I miss you guys all so much. I can't wait to read another story to you next week. Bye.